So which teleprompter do I use? Well, for those of you who aren't aware on what a teleprompter actually is, it's a little device that sits in front of your camera lens and allows you to project up some text in front of your camera lens. Now that text could be a full script where you're gonna read back word for word. It could be some dot points or some notes around the content that you want to present without the need for you to have to break eye contact with your viewers. So by keeping eye contact with your viewers, you're speaking directly with them. If I was reading off notes here now, or of notes under the camera, or of notes off to the side, you can see that I'm not actually keeping that eye contact with you guys, the viewers, now that I'm looking back at the camera lens. So the idea is that your text is displayed in front of the camera lens that only you can see it. The camera doesn't pick up the text. So this is an amazing tool for helping you create videos fast. And this is exactly what they use on a lot of professional shoots and even in places like a TV broadcast newsroom. The news presenters are reading from a teleprompter sitting in front of the camera so that they don't need to memorize scripts. They literally just read out whatever is written on the teleprompter. So I'm a big fan of teleprompters because they allow you to create your videos so much faster because there's no thinking about what you're going to say in front of the camera. You can do that beforehand and make sure that it's short, sharp, concise, or at least have the dot points of all the things you wanna cover off in your videos. So which teleprompter do I use and recommend? Well, my current go-to is the Parrot teleprompter, the V2. This is it here, and it literally just clips on the front of your camera. So you see it just slides on here. And this is it. You then mount your phone down the bottom here and it will project up onto that glass there so that only you can see it. So this is the teleprompter that I like. It's small, it's light. I don't need to have a separate tripod or anything for it. It doesn't make the camera too much bigger than it was before without it on there. But I also love how portable it is and how easy it is to take on and off and to use it on different camera lenses. So this one is the Parrot Teleprompter V2, and I'll have links down in the description below if you wanna go and check it out on somewhere like Amazon. Now, before I started using this one, I was a big fan of the Prompted Teleprompter, and I still think if you're after something that is larger and not going to be run off a phone, like you wanna use an iPad or some sort of bigger screen, maybe you need bigger text if your eyes aren't that good, then the Prompted Teleprompter might be the one for you. But the downside of that is it doesn't just clip on to the front of your camera. You will need to use a separate tripod or a separate mount or stand for it to position it up in front of your camera where you're shooting. So the downside for me was that it took up extra room. I needed a tripod for the camera. I needed a tripod for the teleprompter. And even just to pick it up and move it around to adjust the shot, I'm moving twice the amount of gear. Anyway, now I just love that this is such a small compact unit and is literally connected to the camera so I don't need to worry about all the extra tripods and that stuff. Now in regards to the apps that you can use and the ones that I use and I recommend for use with a teleprompter to bring up your script and to scroll it all and all that fun stuff, I use Teleprompter Premium on iOS so whether it's again an iPad or an iPhone, or if I'm gonna be on an Android device, then I like Nano Teleprompter right now. And we've got reviews on both of those linked down in the description if you want more info on the features and that kind of stuff. But that's why I'm a big fan of teleprompters and the teleprompter that I am currently most pumped on and the one that I'm using for most of our videos is the Parrot Teleprompter V2. So if you're serious about creating videos and you wanna be able to make them faster without thinking in front of the camera, then a teleprompter could be the perfect tool for you. For me, it's sped up everything, not just the filming, but the flow on from that into the editing. Less footage filmed is less footage to edit. So by presenting from a script or at least having some sort of framework or dot points on screen on the teleprompter for me to present to has sped up not just the filming, but the editing piece as well. So thanks very much for sending through the question. And if you've got a question that you would like me to potentially answer in a video like this, then post it below in the comments on this video and we'll go through and review them. And who knows, you might get selected and have your question answered in a video like this. I'll see you in the next one.